Uh, YouTube, hey, the day is, um, I think the day is uh, Thursday, yeah, because the trash is out. Hey, this is your boy, Tech Savvy. Um, I'm just checking out Deathstroke, looking at it, make sure, well, make sure it's good to go. Um, I'm almost finished with my accents and my interior lighting, still waiting on a couple of parts to come in. Uh, it feels good when you can sit back and look at your vehicles and say, yeah. Um, I did that. I'm proud of myself. And I'm proud that I was able to uh, bring my dream to to life. Uh, that's what I what I what I do. I don't actually build motorcycles like uh, my man, especially like my man, uh, uh, the Godfather. Uh, he actually built motorcycles from the ground up. Me, I just take what's already present strip it back down and rebuild it the way I want it uh, that's why I consider myself uh, building my dream because it's going when I bring it back up it's going to be exactly the way I want it there's a lot of products on this slingshot that I have never even t bothered to talk about uh, one of these days I make one of those videos and show you exactly what's all in it what's all on it and um, as I finish up the lightning for my bike uh, for my slingshot here um, I already pulled out my first love which is black flash cleaned it up and worked on it uh, so today I'm dedicating my ride to black flash the motorcycle that started it all for me and uh, this joker is a beast I rode around with it last night for the first time in almost three months and I just couldn't <laughs> I just couldn't believe how much I really miss riding this bad boy I'm not pulling the trailer because I'm still doing maintenance on the trailer but oh actually I probably wouldn't have pulled the trailer today anyway uh, it's been a long time since I actually rode the motorcycle without the trailer uh, for you all that have uh that don't know anything about my first love here which is the black flash to go wing me and this motorcycle has went through pure hell together and i can honestly say that this motorcycle has saved my life at least twice um there have been several accidents on it i I have even have uh, when I first got it I hit a pothole and the uh, engine in it had to be replaced this bike is a 2015 and I can still say <laughs> that everything on it uh, is still probably most likely brand new I only have about uh, you know what I don't even know how many miles on this belt joker because all I've been doing was setting it up getting it repaired let me check it right quick. I don't think it got even a good 40,000 miles on it. But I'll figure that out when I get on it. But uh, I'm going to take it to work today. And probably tell y'all a story too of why I got started in the first place. So y'all stay tuned. GoPro, stop recording. Alright YouTube, let me see how many miles on this thing. Yeah, she still got that rumble. If I remember correctly, I was just hitting 35,000 miles on it uh, when I had originally uh, put it to the side after I had that accident in my truck. Uh, Y'all don't, rem 
if y'all don't uh if y'all just coming to my channel this truck is a 2022 i purchased it uh, earlier this year along with the uh, death stroke over there because i got hit from the side by a woman driving her car she ran up under my little truck it was a, a f-150 it was red and after that accident that truck just would not run the same anymore so uh, i've been fighting uh dealing with the lawyers uh and so forth running back and forth to the hospital uh decided to go ahead and get another truck because no matter how many times it went back to the shop it just never rode the same after that accident so i ended up getting another truck yeah like i said 35 35,000 miles on it and this is a 20 a 2015 uh this bike has been used for for the last four years i show bike and me working on it so i really really never had a time uh a time where i could sit back and ride it except for during the cold, cooler months where i could put on uh all my gear all my winter gear and, and ride around because there was no competition for me to go to uh that's a whole nother story and i go into that probably uh in a minute too but getting back to uh, my truck there so i'm just getting back to riding uh my motorcycle because i was in so much pain and that was the main reason why i ended up getting the uh um, the slingshot was because of the pain of me riding my gold wing i just couldn't hold it up uh, i'm in my recovery stage now and i'm doing so much better so much better and uh but i really miss riding this joker here let me get out this grass before i flip over and I have done that several times too. Now going back to winter riding and ATG, ATT, if you're a motorcycle rider and you don't know what that acronym means, uh, you need to start what you're doing and look it up. That simply means all the gear all the time. And uh, for those of you that never really got into my channel, when I first started out on my channel, I had met a female gold wing rider and I nicknamed her Granny the Gold Wing Rider. She was the one that actually gave me the acronym ATG ATT because she caught me out here riding my gold wing without a helmet and she pulled me over while she was driving her car and she lit off in my behind. And I had nothing but mad respect for that woman because she was the reason I really got into ATG, ATT, all the gear, all the time. For those of you that have followed me, it was only one person I can think of right off the top of my head when I first started my channel, and that was my man, Poppy Doug. He was one of the first 10 subscribers to my channel when I had uh, told that story about Granny Goldwing Rider. And so it was people like him, um, thanks to this gold wing right here, I had met some pleasant people. And uh, I just want to say thank you to most of them because they had actually made a difference in my life. Not only were they good friends with me at the time, we had some good times. Uh, Papa Doug was one of them when I finally met him. It was at one of the wing dings, and he walked up on me, and uh, <laughs> he snuck up on me and, and, and started talking to me, and didn't even tell me who he was. He was like, man, I just wanted to see if you was the same person in your video, if I was to meet you in person. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so he caught me off guard with that one, but he was like, yeah, man, uh, you the same person. You don't... You know, there's nothing fake about you. It's the person that I met when you didn't know me versus the person that I met on YouTube from watching your Granny Goldwing Rider video. He said, you that same person, man. And I, I really enjoy your videos because you keep it 100. Another person that I, I was inspired to meet and I met him through um, Poppy Dub was my man, Charles Neal, the godfather of gold wings. Man, it was always 
my dream to finally meet him and I was able to do that at Wing Dean. I gave him a, I, I did an interview on him and if y'all don't know who the godfather of the gold wings are I highly advise you to do a little history search on a man on a on a black man who basically just started it all for all the gold wing riders especially uh not just the black community but gold wing riders in general i'm gonna take the race out of it period this man started a whole lot of forms for his uh customizing motorcycles and he got his whole area uh, where he keep his uh, motorcycles, man, is filled with nothing but plaques and and, and trophies of, of, of competition that he had won. And the man is still active today, still doing the same thing. And it was a pleasure for me to finally meet him. I interviewed him. And, uh, man, these two people, I call them friends for life. And, and I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I... This gold wing right here, Black Flash, has opened a lot of doors for me and meeting some good people. There's a couple of other people out there that I want to mention, and it'll be wrong for me if I don't. First off, I want to say uh, thank you to uh, Chris Caliente. Uh, me and him, I know through uh, Godfather, we Godfather considered all three of us the three amigos, uh, because we have brought so much to the community. You know, me and Chris was on online. Chris was online first. You know, I'm not gonna take nothing away from that man because he was he was out there doing a the damn thing before any, before any of us had even started. The only difference about him and me is, yeah, both of us are creative. Both of us do our own thing, but he's more into the popularity of of, of winning you over. You know, he got the voice. He's got the speech. You know, he cares about what he say on the internet. Me, I don't give a freak. You piss me off, I'm cussing your ass out. But he, on the other hand, you know, he already showed his respect to other people. And, uh, and I, I straight up told people, hey, you don't like the way I am? You don't like my country accent? You don't like the way I talk? Get the freak off my channel. I don't care. So <laughs> that was the difference between me and him. And of course, as you can see, his channel you know, it was always growing, and uh, it just kept growing. Me, I kept running into accidents and kept getting hurt, and then, you know, all the stuff had happened with these uh, different lawyers and stuff that I had to sit back and just get myself together, man. But, um, you know, like I said, make a long story short, I'm doing okay. There's a lot of other monologuers that I want to mention, and off the top of my head, I probably won't be able to mention them all. But uh, Memphis Mike could be another one. I met him at Wing Dean several times, and I truly, I truly believe that he's my white brother. It was plenty of times we could get beside each other, and I crack a joke like, "Hey, look at both of us together." And uh, what do you see? What did, what did it make you think of? You know, since both of us bald head, you know, the first thing I would say is out there, they try to guess what it was is, yeah, this reminds you of a car headlights with, <laughs> with one light out. <laughs> so I would crack jokes like that, man. And, uh, you know, it, it, that was just the way it was, man. Uh, another brother I want to mention, Greg. Greg Link. Uh, I can't even pronounce his last name, but Greg and Laura. I think his name is uh, pronounced it right. It's Lankoff, but hey, Greg, you know I love you, brother. But I never could say your last name. That family right there was like my is like my brother and sister, man. They jumped on board and helped me get you know helped me get the G uh, the, the Gold Wing Seven Riders and Creators group started, and we changed it over to the groups uh, Seven Riders and Creators, and they was there from the start, man, on putting this all together. And then they end up being the backbone of the whole, you know, coming together, you know, making the plans and everything, and uh, setting up the rides. So I wish them the best on whatever they decide to put their hands on, because Greg, he's going to go full 100 with whatever he touched. So I really wanted to say thank, thank you to them. 
there's a lot of other people out there that I have met uh, it's been an off and on type of thing but uh, hey you know I ain't got nothing but love for you I ain't gonna forget my man Oz Oz uh, Ashley Severe uh, my, those people you know that's what I said when you to me once you become a friend you're a friend for life but here's the hard thing I don't let anybody in my circle I'm gonna give you an opportunity the minute you mess up you're gone for life I ain't got time to deal with fake people I don't have time for it at all Slappy is another mother is another brother that I consider a brother from another mother he always been generous with offering his uh, time to take us around when we came out to his area he took us out to the dragon and after those people man I did mention to them there's a lot of other people I could probably bring up that you know made a difference in my life but it, it, it ends up getting to be a, a long story but those people are the ones that I can say hey they changed my life man they really did and uh, I just want to say thank you to those people now hey I'm take y'all on this trip with me with on uh, black flash here because it's been so long since I rode this bike but I'm telling you man whoo I don't have no pain riding it now this dude is in the right lane and ain't trying to make a right turn but anyway and that's the other one of the reasons why uh, riding a motorcycle I have no patience for other people because it seems like they do so much stupid stuff when you're on a motorcycle you just pay attention to a lot more stuff but uh, Hey, y'all are going to see more videos of me on, on Black Flash. All of the people that originally joined my channel because of Black Flash, because of my gold wing. Hey, Black Flash ain't going nowhere. This is my first love. She always going to be my backbone. She was always going to be the one that started it all for me. And if I go out, I hope I go out on this baby boy right here. Because this is the one that started it all for me and if I have to say it if I end this is the way I want to go out on two wheels on my gold wing named Black Flash hey I just wanted to share that with you all and uh, y'all stay tuned for my uh, my Deathstroke uh, combination of what I'm putting together I would like to show it to you all when I'm done. I don't want to go into pieces. So just stay tuned for me and uh, be prepared to see something that haven't been, you haven't seen before. I promise you that. Other than that, that's my spiel for the day, YouTube. I'm going to take a shortcut trying to get to work, get off the highway. That's my spiel for the day. Y'all have a good one. GoPro. Stop recording.